Hi, I'm Melanie, the resident representative from Bailey Bay, and then in the next three minutes, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about swimming and diving in the new update. Videos on Pascal and Pirate Gulliver to come. Please subscribe to stay tuned for more. The first thing you're going to need to do is update your game. You can do this simply by hovering over Animal Crossing on your main menu of your Switch and hitting the plus button and then update via internet. The update will download and you'll get that message once it is complete. Then you listen to the morning announcements from Isabel. She gives you a little bit of details, but I will cover everything important. And then you can leave your house, go to your mailbox, and see that you got a present from Nintendo. Once you open this present, it will be revealed to be a snorkel which you really don't need but it is a fun look to have next you could run over to your nook's cranny and approach the cabinet in this cabinet you will find a wetsuit for 3,000 bells purchasing this allows you to enter the water as you can see with other tools the rotating color system is the same with the wetsuit and you can get a different wetsuit every day on this rotating schedule here is a wetsuit that i received on my first day Thankfully, your wetsuit options do not end there. You could run over to your resident services, select Nook Shopping, and then scroll down to see that you could also purchase wetsuits from here. These are also rotating the varieties every day. You could also redeem your Nook Miles points to buy a Nook's brand wetsuit and snorkel set. Like other reward items, these are not immediate delivery, but rather will come in the mail the next day. Now, with all your gear, you could run right into the water and splash. Simply press A to swim. You could hold down A to swim quicker, or you could press A rapidly to swim at the quickest possible pace. Once you see bubbles in the water, as I do right now, you could hit Y to dive under the water. You could also use these different swimming speeds to approach the sea creature. You will not immediately be able to tell which type of sea creature this is, although there are different shadow sizes available. Here you see I caught the one thing I cannot pronounce, a sea anemone. Other important things to know about being in the water are that you cannot check your inventory. As far as we know so far, you cannot be stung by stingrays or attacked by sharks. However, for some reason the water does not affect your nook phone and you can access it, including your Critopedia, which will have a new section for sea creatures. Like always, you could bring these new findings to your museum and donate them to Blathers. Blathers will like these because they are not bugs. The method here is the exact same. And that's about all for this swimming and diving and sea creature update. I'm currently working on producing more content including how you can find Pirate Gulliver and Pascal as well as some fun videos so please do support the channel and subscribe if you would like to see more. You could also find me on Twitch I will be streaming it daily at ACNH Bailey Bay and on Instagram ACNH.BaileyBay. All the links will be in the description and again I thank you for watching and look forward to the future videos.